Woo! A collaboration with Britt Clayton Designs. Please check out her channel. Hit that like and subscribe. Let's get started. Okay, here we go. I am going to paint my corners where I have it taped with Bordeaux Red by Arteza. One of our all-time fave colors. I absolutely love it. And it's going to go really well with the other colors that I've um, picked for the day. And I'll go over those shortly. We just finished watching Brit. I know her creation was amazing. Everything she does is amazing. And she's a wonderful person and friend. And I just want to say thank you, Brit, for doing this collaboration with me. I am a little bit nervous. I um, I just admire you. You're you're so inspiring to me. So I want to make sure I make you proud in this video. I'm going to speed up in a lot of parts because there are so many different um, stages in this piece. There was no possible way to um, do this video in 15 minutes. So um, I hope you enjoy this video and we are going to start and get down to the canvas. Let's get started. Hi everybody. Okay, I'm so excited. I painted my um, canvas on the corners with Bordeaux Red and I am now going to go ahead and do finish the Dutch pour on the canvas. I left the tape. I'm going to do something fun with that. So what I decided to do is I'm going to use Bordeaux Red 24 karat gold and um, I am using Porridge Posse uh, Black Shimmer and then look at my luscious. This is Hot Cinnamon with um, from Primary Elements. It is my favorite color. I say that on all of them, but oh my gosh, it's luscious. So now what I need to do is to um, add my GAC 800. And I wanted to go ahead and show you, these are all for my flower pops. So they are either two and a half, um, two and a half or three parts Floetrol to one part paint. And so you can, because um, my Dutch pour, I use Floetrol in it, you can go ahead and use this paint. All I'm doing is adding just no rhyme or reason, enough to kind of give me my line for my Dutch pour. I might need more than that. I probably will. Um, I'm going to actually, and these paints, again, they have no water in them yet. So I am just going to, um, I wanted to show you. So really, I have not found much that doesn't work in a Dutch pour. You can do all water. You can do 50-50 um, Floetrol with 50-50 GAC. And now I'm just going to go ahead and I am going to add um, a little bit of water. And I do want to add my um, GAC 800. So let me get my, I just realized that I am out of GAC 800. I have to open up a new bottle. Let me put it in a squirt bottle and I'll be right back. Okay, I've poured my GAC 800 into this squirt bottle and I'm just gonna add this and a little bit of water, just a generous squirt in each one. That's all I'm gonna do. I'm adding a little bit into my hot cinnamon as well. Oh, I just love this hot cinnamon. It is gorgeous. All right, I'm going to um, fast forward. I'm going to stir, stir these up. And I'm going to get them to a Dutch pour consistency. And you can see that's pretty thin. Um, for Dutch pours, I like the, um, I like it to sink right into, that one has a little bit of a mound on it. So I'm just going to add a couple squirts of water. Beautiful. Yep, there we go. And this one is my gold. And I find, in all honesty, when I've been playing around with pigments, 
it's really good to have a um, little bit of a mound. Let's add a little water. It's really good to have your GAC 800. The pigments can cause a little bit of cracking. Um, I just think it's a good idea to have it in there. I think these, these are perfect. So I got my three colors. I've got my um, hot cinnamon and I am going to get my white base layer and I will be right back. Okay, I have decided to use a white base and um, this is pretty thin. I think I want it just a little bit thinner um, because I want these paints to spread over it really well. The only thing that I wish that I had probably done or maybe I need to do is I need to go ahead and paint my edges white real quick. Okay, so I went ahead and I painted my edges. Have you ever had some leftover um, or just something you picked up at the dollar store and you never used? Well, I had these Reynolds wrappers, which I thought were pretty cool because I am, I can wrap it right around the bottom, which is great. And just made sure this is good and sealed because I'm going to embellish this area. And I wanted to do kind of a, just a plain, um, I wanted to leave these corners plain, I think, negative space. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna pour our white down um, for our, pop the bubbles real quick. Lots of bubbles and then we're going to blow it out. And then start with Bordeaux Red. And I'm going to do a line like this. Okay, kind of ziggy. I'm going to go here. Okay. A little bit of black. Some of the candy apple. I mean, hot cinnamon. Sorry, I have hand, the candy apple. I've just used that in another painting. We're going to go back with Bordeaux. Okay. I don't want a lot. This gold will kill you. So I, don't, I think that's all the gold I'll use. Back with a little bit more black on this end. I get real fine here because we more of this hot cinnamon. Beautiful. Okay. I, I know I'm not using a lot of colors here. I love this Bordeaux red. And that hot cinnamon. Oh my goodness. All right. I think we need a little bit more like Emerald Lagasse Dam, a little bit more. We're going to do that with the hot cinnamon. I love it. All right. We are going to start. And I've decided I'm going to kind of do uh, something a little bit different, I think. So let's get started. Here we go. 
way and then I'm going to blow some of it this way. get real thin there. Okay, thinking. Okay, everybody. Oh my goodness. If you can see this, the glare, it is amazing. Um, I love that hot cinnamon and the Bordeaux red together. Look at that. I'm going to go slow as I can. I just switched up. I have a new phone, so I'm learning to use it. Oh, look at that. That's the hot cinnamon. Oh my goodness. Okay. And we're going to go down and look at the gold. Look at these little fingerlings right there. Oh my goodness. I'm going to bring it up. Amazing, these colors, oh my gosh, it, this is stunning, these colors. I know I get so excited about these paintings. My key, I decided to let it run off right here, just because it, if you look at the composition, I'm going to bring it up where you can see, I'm going to try to bring it all the way up. Um, you know, this composition is just stunning. And we have it running off here. And it may run off there. And I'm fine. It's good it that I was fine that it did because it really ran. I realized halfway through that I actually used house paint as the base. The white was house paint, but that's okay. okay. I am in love with it this. Dried. And I am in love with this. Let's go ahead and take the tape off, the tin foil. Okay. okay. One down. Here we go with this tape. Okay. Perfect. Oh, one side perfect. Let's check the other. Okay. It's a little, a little wet. Come on, tape. Oh, wow. We couldn't have more perfect lines on this. White got over into the red. No biggie. If I can cover that up with the embellishments. Very good. All right. Okay. Just need to cover that up right there. Okay, so we are going to take some black paint and we're going to cover um, where the tape was. I just decided that um, I couldn't decide between gold or black, but I think the black is going to really stand out. So I'm going to go through, I'm going to speed this part up, and all I'm doing is filling, filling in where the tape was with black paint.
dress it up a bit. We've got our bling it, and this is Color Arts Diamond Gold. And all I did was I I wanted it to be really sparkly. So I just add, I added two heaping teaspoons. That's a lot, I know. And then I mixed it with my um, Liquitex gloss pouring medium I have in here. And just enough to get it to where it's um, wet. I just stirred it so you can see. Very beautiful. Okay. And now we're just going to go in and I'm going to highlight some of this gold right here throughout the painting. Not a lot, but I want the gold to stand out a little bit more than it does, than it is in some of these spots. And I'm just going in and accenting the gold. So the next step is laying down the fire glass, which is a very, very time consuming <laughs> project if you're going to lay it down flat and not just sprinkle it over. And because of the little boo-boo on the other side with the paint, um, I've decided that um, I am going to just lay a line of glass like I'm doing. Um, gold in the back and a little black in the front, I believe. Um, I wasn't sure about the black, um, but I think I've I think I've talked myself into it. So, you know, the beauty of using, um, you know, fire glass is, you know, it is a little bit forgiving because it, nothing. Is perfect with it they're cut all different angles and you can kind of fit it together and it's not a look where it has to be perfectly symmetrical so um, that helps as well so as I said this is a very very long process so I am going to try to speed through this um, you know if you have any questions for me please reach out. But at this point, I think that it's, you know, just very, very easy. And, um, you know, not anything that requires a whole lot of thought. You're just laying the glass down. And I do use um, liquid glass to adhere the, um, adhere the, 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 uh, Fire glass. Um, I do like this gold, this mirror, mirrorized gold. I think it's pretty. Um, and once I get it on here, you have to kind of watch it because um, it can float when you put the liquid glass on or it will um, seep down here. And that's
So now we're going to carefully put this Triart liquid glass. I know some people would put it down first, but I don't. It dries clear. I'm okay with it being on top of the gems. Um, I just have more control over it because it spreads. the same roads every day We both get there our own way Thistle and an apple tree How different two souls can be But we both grow from the same sorrow If we both know we'll be together I can be like a tree in the wind Same old roots but I can bend Turning to understand and sway together That was a lot of fire glass, very tedious work. And I'm just going through with the liquid glass and I go over just on the cracks. Um, I do see where some have seeped through to the outer edges. I'm gonna grab that, but I'm just touching this up. A lot of times when I do these, um, the liquid glass, uh, the glass falls off when I'm moving it. And I can't stand when it happens, but it does. So I am literally just going through, filling some of these cracks, and um, it's probably might seem or appear like it would be better to um, stick each piece on, but that would literally take days. So this is the way that I do it, and it turns out stunning. I do love um, this black on there. I don't like that right there. Might get it up a little bit. It should have went down in the crack a little bit more. Okay, I will see you with the next step. See you there. Okay, so I decided to take some black Amsterdam um, black paint and kind of darken some of the, the um, black in the painting itself. And I'm just going over the lines that are already there and it really did add a lot of depth. So I will, um, gonna be wrapping this up after it is varnished, I will see you there. Drive the same roads every day. We both get there our own way. This different two souls can be but we both grow from the same sorrow if we both know we'll be together tomorrow thank you so much Britt I appreciate you doing this collaboration with me it was so so much fun I want to thank everyone for watching please hit that like button Subscribe if you haven't subscribed to my channel and hit the bell so that you'll be notified for more videos like this one and others in my Flower Pop series. And make sure you check out Britt's channel as well at Britt Clayton Design. She's amazing and I hope to see everyone soon. Thanks everyone.